Hey, what's up, guys? This is Akshay from AS Learning, and today we will be seeing sentiment analysis using Vader. So, first of all, let's try to understand what exactly is sentiment analysis. Sentiment, the first word. Sentiment means your emotions, your mood, the mood in that text or of a human being, something like that. So, it can be positive, negative. If we go into advanced sentiments, then it can be happy, sad, surprisal, humor, etc. Okay. And the second word is analysis. So analysis means making a deduction out of that thing, what the sentiment is. So if you have a text or if you have a paragraph or any document or maybe from a human face making the understanding of its mood or the sentiment of the text whether it is going into a positive direction into an optimistic way or into a negative direction into a negative way these all things come into sentiment analysis and sentiment analysis then emotion analysis then opium uh, opinion mining are very closely and interrelated words used by data scientists and ML researchers all over the world. So let's see what the definition is. Okay, guys, in sentiment analysis, we classify the polarity of given text at document level, sentiment at sentence level or feature level. It tells us about the opinion, right? Whether it is positive, negative or neutral. And if we go more advanced, then it tells about more about the emotional states also, like it's angry, sad, whether the person is surprised or he's depressed, etc. Okay. Now there are multiple ways of doing sentiment analysis, right? One of the way is by using Vader. Then there are some other libraries also like Stanza, then TextBlob, then I've also used Flare. I've also used Spacey. So there are many ways in which the model are kind of pre-trained and having different architectures. And these models tell us about the emotional states and the opinions into the text. Okay. So currently in this video, we'll be seeing how we can use or leverage wider for the sentiment analysis works. And trust me, guys, wider is one of the best ways of doing sentiment analysis into the market. Vader works on a rule based sentiment analysis. So Vader stands for balance aware dictionary and sentiment reasoner. It is a rule based sentiment analyzer. It contains a list of lexical features which are generally labeled as per the semantic orientation as positive or negative. Now, if you want to really have a detailed understanding of what this sentence is, a list of lexical features having uh, some labels and which have the semantic orientation as positive, negative, I highly recommend you check my video on how TextBlob works internally. Uh, you can find the link of that video into the video description, the way Vader and TextBlob works, it is one and it is almost in a similar way. They are rule based sentiment analyzers. And I highly recommend you in that video I've explained into a much, much detailed way how the sentiments, the polarity and the subjectivity is calculated of a single sentence. Okay. Now we won't go into that deep. We will see how we will be leveraging wider for calculating the sentiment analysis. Okay. So first of all, the first thing which we need to do is import the package, but more important than that. And firstly, we need to install the package, right? So we'll do a simple pip install wider sentiment and it will install my library. Uh, it is completely okay if you don't create a virtual environment here, but when you're using libraries like stanza spacey i highly recommend you you should create virtual environments because uh, libraries like stanza they work on torch framework then spacey has a different framework also and it can create clash of like 
uh, libraries. So if you want to understand how sentiment analysis works using Stanza, I have one more. I have made one more video on Stanza and its different functionality. You can check the link of that video into the description. Now let's try to understand how Vida works by seeing its code. Now first, you have imported sentiment intensity analyzer from the Vida package. Then I've created an object of sentiment intensity analyzer and here I'm passing the sentence Ram is really good and I'm calculating the scores of it by using the function polarity scores. So to the function of polarity scores, I'm passing my sentence and boom, I'm getting a dictionary of scores, negative, neutral, positive and compound. Now let's try to understand what this scores are. Now what VADA does is it takes into string as its input and it spits out four scores negative neutral positive compound so negative tells about the negativity into that sentence neutral tells how neutral the, se the sentence is and positive tells how positive the sentence is and compound is a combination of all these three scores now here we can see that ram is really good it is a positive sentence and here you can see that the score of positive is the highest between negative and neutral now let's see by taking a negative statement into consideration now here i've taken rahul is really bad and as you can see that the score of negative is now the highest one okay now let's try to understand that uh, how how and what things exactly manipulates the scoring of vader okay now here we will see the first thing as punctuation now when you add or increase the exclamation marks we see that the compound score or the overall sentiment score of that sentence increases so by if a sentence has more number of exclamation marks it increases the intensity and it makes sense right whenever we while writing something in english if we want to make any sentence more intense we add more punctuation marks right she is really good and then we write lots of exclamation marks in front of it so it completely makes sense and the beauty of it is that wider understands it now we know that ram is really good ram is really good one exclamation mark and ram is really good two exclamation marks so two exclamation mark shows more intensity and as you can see in the results that the compound score has gradually increased with the number of exclamation marks okay now the second thing which which is one of the uh, another beautiful thing considered by wider is capitalization now here we can see that the when the lexical feature or the lexicon which actually impacts the, the sentiment of that sentence is capitalized it increases the intensity like ram is good and ram is good in the second sentence as you can see that good is capital and it shows a higher intensity and it makes sense right whenever we want to emphasize something or if we want to increase the intensity of something we tend to write those words into capital right and it makes sense and as you can see that the compound score of the second statement is higher than the first statement okay the other thing which most of the time manipulates the score of vader is degree modifiers now what is degree modifiers De degree modifiers are words like really very then two t double o two so these <coughs> so these words are intensifiers or degree modifiers definitely ram is good and ram is very good so very good shows that ram is better than the first statement right and as you can see that the compound score of the second statement is higher than the first one now the next thing is conjunction now if you see the first example ram is good has a compound score of 0 0.4404 and in the second statement ram is good but he's also naughty sometimes so the word but the presence of the word but has create a negative effect here what a beauty what a beauty of vader it is understanding this 
semantic orientations also amazing so as you can see that the compound score has dropped to zero it has reduced now another beautiful thing about wider is that it also handles slangs emoticons and also emojis the emojis the whatsapp emojis the skype emojis every emojis wider understand those emojis now uh for example purpose we have taken here a slang called sucks okay now that hotel and that hotel sucks so definitely sucks is more negative right and see the compound score minus 0 0.4995 it understands the slangs also okay now let's take into consideration emoticons let's see if the smile em uh, emoticon is understood by wider or not as you can see that the first sentence and the second sentence into the way human chats is almost the same right your smile is the most beautiful thing i've ever seen your smile is the most beautiful thing i've ever seen and see the beauty the score the compound score is not much of a different it's almost the same so that's it with this video guys this was the sentiment analysis using wider